so we're going to uh, continue our look uh, into progressions, okay? By looking uh, at this thing, uh, which we call sum to infinity. Okay, sum to infinity. Now there are some there are some progressions. Uh, there's some geometric progressions. This is still geometric progression. Okay, there are, this is still geometric progressions. And if you watched the lessons from last week, okay, uh, you will know that geometric progressions. The most important thing is the pattern. Uh, is times second and second lah. Okay, so it's always multiplied by a certain number. Now. If your geometric progressions uh, is a number that is getting smaller and smaller, let's say for example, uh, uh, 4, 2, 1, what is the next number after this? Anybody? Okay, it'll be 1, and, uh, one over 2. After 1 over 2, 1 over 4. Okay, 1 over 4. Uh, can you give me the next 3? <laughs> after 1 over 4, then 3 more. 1 over 8. 1 over 16, 1 over 32. Okay, so what I want you to notice is this. Huh? Okay. First of all, uh, let's add all this together. Let's, let's say we add the first 5. Lah. 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus half. How much is this total? So S4 equals to 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus half. It's about, uh, give me a decimal. Lah, decimal so can, yeah, 7.5. Okay, now let's add another one. Let's say 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus half plus 1 over 4. That's 5. Okay, 7.75. Is Sinbury the only person in this class? <laughs> what happened to the rest of you? Okay, let's add another one. 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus half plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8. That's 6. 7.875. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> Very long one, this one. Okay, now you plus 1 over 16, S7, 7.938, okay, and then after that, add another one, <laughs> okay, all the 8, S8, 7.969, okay, now, if, uh, okay, so now what I want you to do is, I want you to go on for another 5 more, lah. okay, let's just do another 5 more, so what you do is, you give me S9, S10, S11, S12, and S13. Okay, let's do another 5 more. Huh? Extend this progression first. So after 1 over 32 is 1 over 64. After 1 over 64 is 1 over 128. Okay, so on and so forth. Give me the values of S9, S10, S11, S12, and S13. Okay, I want you to see that there is a certain pattern uh, which is happening over here. Okay, I'll give you two minutes, uh, do this and then type in your answer lah, as always. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Are you sure it's 8, Sidbury? 7.985, 7 7.993, 7.997, 7.999. Really, uh, 8 ah? Uh? Or did you... <laughs> See, it should be getting bigger and bigger and bigger, right? Like the, yeah, actually it's 7.999 and then you round it up, right? Okay, so actually it's 7.9999. There are a couple of nines at the back, wow. And this one also is 7.996 something, 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 something. Okay, so what I want you to notice is this, uh, is that for certain progressions, uh, especially progressions where the number, dia semakin menurun, okay, the number is getting smaller, when you keep adding it up, uh, it will never end. Uh, you know, actually we can go on, you know, I can go S14, S20, S200, I will this one. Uh, but you see uh, that after a while, uh, it follows a certain pattern. Okay, it gets nearer and nearer to the number 8. It won't hit number 8. Actually, it won't hit number 8. Don't round this up. Uh, okay, actually, uh, it's 7.99999 and then you round it up. Uh, don't round it up. But you will find uh, that when you keep adding and adding and adding, uh, it will look like it's going near to a certain number, which is the number 8. When you add a little bit, not so much, uh, 7.5. Then 7.75 is if you add 5 numbers. If you add 6 numbers, 7.8, 7.9, 7.985, 7.993, 7.997, 7.998, 7.999, 7.999, 7.999, 7.999, 7.999, 7.999, 7.999, 7.999, 7.999, 7.999, 7.999, 7.999, 7.999, 7.999, 
seven point nine 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 got somewhere at the back, right? And then it's seven even more seven point nine nine nine. So it actually uh, is like if this is number eight, uh, it's when you add more numbers, right? It's getting nearer and nearer to number eight, uh, but it actually never becomes number eight. <laughs> okay, it actually becomes very near to number eight, but it will actually, uh, if you take all the decimal places, uh, it won't be number eight. Uh. Okay, it'll be seven point nine 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 but it will never hit number eight. Okay? And so we find uh, that this is what we call the sum to infinity. Sum to infinity means uh, when you add all the numbers in the progression, okay, the progression that is, you know, is becoming smaller and smaller, uh, it will get nearer to a certain number. And we want to know what is that number that it is approaching. Okay? So we find uh, that this is how we write this. Uh, okay? For this progression, the sum to infinity. So this is the symbol for infinity. It is a number eight that is the balik. Oh, sorry. It is a number eight that is lying down. Okay, it is a number eight that is lying down. So sum to infinity yeah, equals to or is approaching. Okay, is approaching number eight. Okay, is approaching number eight. So how do we count this? Okay, how do we count this? So. This is how the formula works now. So our progression is 4, 2, 1, 1 over 2, and so on and so forth. Okay? In this case, we do the same thing that we do for geometric progressions. Tell me what is the A and what is the R. R is the pattern. Okay? So times how much? Tell me what is the A and what is the R. Okay? A is 4. R is 1 over 2. So the formula for sum to infinity is A over 2. 1 minus r. All I need to know is that all I need to know is the number a and the number r. Okay? But remember this, huh, that the r must be a fraction or decimal place. Lah. Okay? A fraction or decimal place. It's, uh, it, this doesn't work uh, if the number is getting bigger and bigger because you will approach a very big number. Okay? But sum to infinity works if you are talking about the, the progression uh, is getting smaller and smaller and it is approaching a certain number. Lah. Okay, so when we substitute the A, 4 over 1 minus half. Settle the bahagian bawah. So, kamu akan dapat 4 over half. 4 divided by half, uh, people. 4 divided by bracket 1 over 2. If you're going to type in your calculator, it's this. Okay, and you will get the value of Okay, which we prove uh, by using our this method just now. Okay, we find that the num the more the number of numbers you add, uh, it's going to become nearer and nearer to number eight, but it won't actually reach number eight. Okay, don't round off. La. Of course, you round off and you get eight. La. You know, but if you don't round off, uh, it's actually you know, coming very near to number eight, uh, but actually not number eight. <laughs> actually not number eight. So that's why we call this an approximation. Okay, so the sum to infinity is going to be about 8. Okay, it will come nearer and nearer and nearer to number 8. Lah. The more numbers you add, lah, okay, it won't get any bigger than 8. The biggest it will get lah, is 8. Actually, it's not even going to touch 8. Lah. Okay, and that's the thing about uh, this geometric progression. So the formula is very simple. You just need to know A and you need to know R. Okay, once you have that, then you substitute into this one. Then you can find the value of what is this called? This is called the this is called the sum to infinity. Okay, so let's try a couple of questions. Huh? Uh, let's see. Okay, first one is this one. Okay, I want you to give me the sum to infinity of this. Okay, one six six two over three and so on and so forth. Okay, try these two first. Okay, remember, uh, identify the A, identify the R, okay, and then after that, you use the formula. Sum to infinity equals to A over 1 minus R. Okay, R is determined, uh, nombor di belakang depan, bahagi dengan nombor di depan. The number at the back, divide by the number in front. That's the value of R. Okay, try this. I give you two min uh, give you five minutes to do this, and then calculate the sum to infinity Okay, A is 1,500 for number 1, R is 1 over 3. What is the S? 
what is the sum to infinity for number one? Okay, 2,250. What about number two? A is what, R is what, and what is the sum to infinity? Okay, now, number two. <laughs> okay, A is 0 0.81, R is 1 over 100, okay, or you can always say it's uh, 0 0.01, la. okay, the same thing, huh? Okay, and the S infinity is actually equals to 0 0.81818 and so on and so forth. Okay, if you put this into fraction, okay, so you have 0 0.81818181818, right? Okay, then you press into fraction. Uh, oh, sorry, no, you cannot do this. So you will do it like this. Uh, so A is 0 0.81 over 1 minus 0 0.01. Okay, so you get 0 0.81 over 0 0.99. Okay, what you will actually get, uh, okay, you will actually get uh, 9 over 11. Okay, this is the one thing. Okay, so one thing I want to mention, uh, okay, sometimes the sum to infinity, uh, you can, when you calculate it, let's say you do like this, uh, 0 0.81 divided by 0 0.99. So when you press in your calculator, 0 0.81 divided by 0 0.99. Okay, you get this answer. Okay, you press uh, 0 0.81 divided by 0 0.99, you will get this answer. Then, uh, of course, the answer is 0 0.81, 81, 81, 81, right? <laughs> okay, but if you want it to be a nicer answer where you don't have to uh, round off, uh, you press the ABC and it will change it into a nice fraction for you, okay, which is actually 9 over 11, okay? This especially happens uh, if, if, if your sum to infinity, uh, you've asked Taga, if your sum to infinity is like this kind of number, 0 0.8181818181, okay, then the sum to infinity, the answer, uh, better to be in fraction, uh, okay, 9 over 11, okay, and interestingly, you try and press 9 divided by 11 on your calculator. Okay, what you will find is you will get the same answer, 0 0.81818181. Interesting all. Okay, I think it's very interesting. Now. <laughs> okay, so this brings me to a few questions in the module. Okay, there are a few questions that I want to answer in the module, but if you have your module, uh, you can take it out. If not, you can just refer to this question. Uh. Okay. So the same thing, uh, I want you to do uh, question number 66 and number 67 first. Same thing, okay? Identify the A, identify the R, and then calculate for me the geometric progression. See whether it's 81 and negative 3. Okay? Be very careful, uh, guys. The R is number in front divided by the number behind. Okay? Be very careful. With this. Okay, give this a try. You can see the question right okay I put it like this especially those of you who don't have the module uh. okay see the question and try to answer do it now uh, do it now 27 2 over 3 okay s is 81 all right good what is the r for number 67 i think this is the one that i'm most worried about now uh. what is the r for this progression if you get the r correct then you should be able to get the answer negative 3 Okay, it will be negative 2 over 3. Okay, be very careful with this. Huh? Number in front, divide by the number behind. Get the uh, the latest one. Okay, let's take a look at a few more questions. So this sum to infinity, uh, uh, there are a few types of questions that can be asked. Lah. Okay, number one is uh, this. Sorry, not this one. Mm. Okay, number one is this one. Okay, so we find out uh, that this question, okay, express the recurring decimal, uh, 0 0.969696969696, as a fraction in its simplest form. Okay, now 0 0.969696696 uh, means uh, that it is just now like the 0 0.818181. Okay, when we split this up, uh, we get 0 0.96, okay, the first one. And then the second one is 0. 0096, this second one. Okay, 0 0.0096. 
So because the first two zeros are already here, so we put this one is the next one. And then the third one is 0. Point, how many zeros in front? Four, right? So 0, 0, 0, 0, 9, 6, and so on and so forth. So it is a recurring decimal, actually it's a geometric progression. Actually, that, but it is a geometric progression that is getting lesser and lesser and lesser and lesser. Okay, uh, there are some books now which will write it like this, huh? 0 0.96 and then the dot dot on top, like this. Okay, it is the same thing. Okay, it means the same thing. It means the 0 0.969696 until the end. Okay, so the thing that you need to know is how to transfer this uh, to become a progression. So 0 0.96 and then 0 0.0096 and then 0 0.00. The one that is already kena ambil kan, then you put the 0 in front. Okay, and then the third one. Okay, so same thing. Identify the A, identify the R, and then give me the S infinity. Is it really 32 over 33? Give it a try. You managed to get 32 over 33. Okay, A is 0 0.96, R is 0, okay, I'll find 0 0.01. Can be fraction, can be this one. So S equals to 32 over 33. Ah, uh, sorry, 33. Yeah. Now, actually, if you press 32 over 33, yeah, okay, in your this one time, you will get the exact same answer. 0 0.969696969696. Okay, except that this question, uh, express the recurring decimal as a fraction, okay, in its simplest form. So your final answer must be a fraction. Okay, express the recurring decimal as a fraction. Okay. Um, so let's do this. Okay, they say uh, that h over k equals to 0 0.16, and then the dot now uh, is only above the 6. Okay, so let's not worry about this h over k first. This 0 0.16 dot, what does this mean? What is the repeated number? Is it 1616161616 or is it 6666666? Okay, the answer will be the 0 0.166666. So you are actually going to get this. 0 0.166666. So it's the 6 that is repeating. Because the dot now is only above the 6. Okay, the dot is only above the 6. <clears throat> so be very careful with this. Okay, now if you get this kind of thing, okay, if you get this kind of thing, you need to separate it out first. Okay, so this one now, we need to take out the 0 0.1. Because the 0 0.1 is not repeating, only the 6 is repeating. So I take out the 0 0.1 and then I will have plus 0 0.066666 and so on and so forth. Lah. Okay, the 0 0.1 I take out, I leave 0 0.066666. And this one is a geometric progression. Okay, let me rewrite this now 0 0.1 plus. Okay, so this one will be. 0 0.06 plus 0 0.006 plus 0 0.0006 and so on and so forth. Okay? Very, very important. So, when you do this, you find that, oh, okay, this is, how much is this? This is, our A is 0 0.06. What is my R? The link can here, the 0 0.1 side casting got to do. Okay, tell me what is my R. Alama. Okay, 0 0.1. Mm. Okay, 0 0.1. So I can calculate the sum to infinity. Okay, 0 0.06 over 1 minus 0 0.1. Okay, how much is this? 0 0.1 plus. Okay, what is my sum to infinity? 1 over 15. Okay, so we will get now 0 0.1 plus 1 over 15. Okay, but we need to change it to decimal. Okay, so you press the ABC, uh, and you'll get 1 over 6. Okay, the question say find the value of H plus K. So we find now uh, that 0 0.16 dot uh, is actually equals to 1 over 6. 
So h plus k equals to 1 plus 6, which will equal to 7. Okay. So in, in terms of the geometric progression, okay, in terms of this sum to infinity, actually it's not that difficult. Uh, there's not that much uh, hot questions that can be asked. You just have to get used to the, you know, forming, finding out what is the A and finding out what is the R. Especially if we have a number that is not repeated. <laughs> okay, very, uh, it's quite interesting. Lah. Okay, let's try this. This is, 1.05456 and then only this three is dotted. Okay, 1.05456. Oh, sorry, hold on. Oh, yeah, okay, sorry, yeah, everyone. There is supposed to be a dot over on the 456. So actually, even five or so is supposed to be dotted. So, four, five, <laughs> like this, yeah. Okay, so if your module they didn't this one, please correct this lah. So the four five six is repeated. Okay, so what would so first of all the thing is take out the number that is not repeated. Okay, so we will get one point zero five plus. Okay, now let's form the the geometric progression. Okay, if if okay if we sorry ah. Uh, 1.05456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456456
you will still get 1.054564566456. And no matter how I press the ABC, okay, I will still, they will still not be able to calculate for me such a big fraction. Okay, so what happens if you get to this kind of number and then like, ah, I don't know how to do my calculator, it's not helping me. You can always do it manually. Okay, you, what you can do, I'll show you one. Okay, so 21 over 20 plus 38 over 8325. Okay, you multiply 8325 times 20. This is uh this is standard formats, lah. Okay, primary formats. 166500. Then you cross multiply. 8325 times 21 is 174825 plus 38 times 20 will give you 760. Okay, so you will get 174825. 1755.85 over 166500. Then you get 10. <laughs> I don't know whether this calculator can do it. I don't think so. 166500. Yeah, you still give me 1.045. <laughs> Cannot laugh. Okay, you will have to. Manually, yeah, change, yeah, change, yeah, change. You have to manually put up, bundar, apa itu? Uh, pemudahkan, nah. Okay, you have to manually simplify until you get this final answer. If you have the silver calculator, totally not a problem. You should be able to get this immediately. Okay. So this is okay. This is a slightly more difficult one, lah. But the idea is still the same, lah. No matter what happens, lah. Okay, the one that is not recurring, the one that is not repeating itself, lah. That's the one we must take out first. And then only we add it in at the last minute. Okay, just like this question, and just like the question, uh, just like the question that we just answered. Okay, everything that is not repeated, we take it out. We form a new geometric progression. Okay, let me see. Hold on. Ah. Okay, so what I would like you to do today, uh, Basically, yeah, okay, basically all the formula in this chapter uh, is already taught. Uh, I already taught you all the formulas that you need to do in this chapter. The problem with this chapter is the questions got a lot of types of questions. Okay, so we are probably going to spend a few classes uh, to try to learn um, try to learn how to answer the questions. Okay, so it would be good if you can answer the questions and uh, you know, give this a try. Uh. Okay, so what I would like you to do, okay, so the first one is 0 0.4594594599, okay, into a simple fraction. Okay, by, I want to see the, I want to see the working, uh, okay, ini yang lebih penting, I want to see the jalan kerja. Don't just write the answer, okay, but show me how you got, find the A, find the R, Substitute into the sum into infinity formula. Okay, the second one is uh, the second one is this two point one six 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 six. Okay, into a single actually not even simple single. Okay, into a single fraction. This question is actually pretty popular. Okay, the one that changed to single fraction, single fraction. Find the sum to infinity if it is like this, like this, like this, like this. Okay, third one, uh, one point one point one two one two one two. Uh, let me see. Uh, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Okay. One point one two one two one two one two into a single fraction. Okay. Three questions. Okay, just these three questions. Uh, that should be enough for today. Uh, today, uh, okay, hand it in by today. All right.